Hello, I'm Anika from Made to Sew and welcome to our French seam tutorial. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to sew a French seam. So, when would you use a French seam? French seam are seams are perfect for use on lightweight or sheer fabrics. All of the seam allowances are encased inside the seam itself, so you don't get any fraying and the seam is very small. If you're wanting to not line a garment and you haven't got an overlocker or serger, you can use a French seam for that too. The only downside to a French seam is that they don't work so well on curves. So let's get started. You must start by pinning your fabric together on the seams that you're going to sew. Now with a normal seam, you would start by pinning your right sides of your fabric together. However, with a French seam, and this is the most important thing, you must do the opposite. So we're going to place the wrong sides of our fabric together and pin our seam. Now I'm just using a printed cotton here, and that's really so that I can show you the wrong side and the right side, so that you really understand we're putting the wrong sides together. Match up your edges along here, and we're just going to insert some pins. Um, a little tip if you're sewing a garment, I tend to sew my garments from the hem up, and I'll always position my pins in line with my seam with the head of them facing me so that it's easy for me to remove them. Now we're going to go to the sewing machine. Now we're going to sew the first seam. With a French seam, you will be sewing two seams in total. Now the first seam I'm going to sew is going to be 3 8 one centimetre from the raw edge here. We'll go backwards and forwards as usual. And I'm sewing a standard seam, which is 2.5 millimetres in length and I'm lining up the 3 8 in line with my 3 8 one centimetre marking here. Take the pins out as you go. A little tip if you are sewing silk is that you may not wish to go backwards and forwards. Sometimes the silk fabric doesn't like that very much and you will just need to tie your threads instead. You may also find if you're sewing with silk that you wish to use a smaller stitch length. Please test your fabric obviously before doing the real thing. So first seam is sewn. I'm showing you this in a different colour thread, but obviously you would be using a thread that would match and coordinate with your fabric. Press the seam flat first, and this will help meld the stitches into the fabric and get rid of any slight puckering. Then we're going to press the seam open. So we're going to position it this is obviously the right side of our fabric is facing up at the moment and we're going to press it open like so. Obviously I would recommend testing your fabric, test it with the iron, the heat and the steam and just double check that you're going to be okay to position the iron onto that. You may wish to use a pressing cloth if not. Next, you're going to need a small pair of scissors so that you can trim down both of these seam allowances to one eighth, three millimeters. Be careful that you're only cutting the seam allowance, not the exterior fabric. You must cut these very small as the second seam we are going to stitch is a quarter of an inch, five millimeters. So they must be smaller than that. I would aim for one eighth, three millimeters. Once both of the seam allowances are trimmed to one eighth, three millimeters, we can then press your fabric for the second time. So now we're going to position the right sides of your fabric together. So we've got the two right sides together, the wrong side is facing up. And we are going to press this along this seam that you stitched previously. We want the seam that you stitched to be right on the edge of the fold that we're pressing in, okay? And this is really important for a neat finish. So you really want to roll this between your fingers until that seam is sitting right on the edge and then we can give this a nice press. And you want to work your way along your seam, pressing it flat like so. Thank you. 
Now we're ready to move back to the sewing machine. You're welcome to position some pins into this if you would like. I find that with a press it's enough, but if you're working with a slippy fabric, say a silk, you may find that you want some pins. And again, I would pin from the hem up, because we're going to be sewing from the hem up, with your pin heads facing you so that they're easy to remove. Now we're going to sew one quarter of an inch, five millimeters away from the previously stitched seam that we just pressed. You're welcome to use pins if you wish. We're going to be using a standard straight stitch and again, backwards and forwards or locking the stitch at either end. If you're working with a flimsy silk, you may wish to tie them off instead. And again, I'm using a different color to my fabric so that you can see this. Trim your threads and press the seam flat to start. Open out your fabric with the wrong side facing up and press the seam allowance towards the back of the garment. Now, because you've only got the one seam allowance now, we can't press it open any longer. So it has to go towards the back of the garment. And there you have it, a really super neat French seam. If we take a look at this from the front of the garment, You'll see how neat it looks. You can always give this a quick press from the front if needs be, but be careful and check your fabric before going ahead and doing that. One thing to point out is if you find you've got some stray little threads coming through your stitching here, it will be because you did not trim them down close enough. If you don't trim closer than what we have previously just stitched, which is a quarter of an inch, five millimeters, they will pop through your seam here and it won't look very neat. So please be sure to make sure that you're trimming them to one eighth or three millimeters. The other thing to point out is that we have completed this with a seam allowance of 1.5 centimeters and five eighths. So if your pattern does not have a seam allowance of that size, you will need to increase the seam allowance so that you have enough room to complete this beautiful stitch.